Recently, social media was abuzz with reports of an Algerian man who allegedly sued his bride a day after their wedding after seeing her without makeup for the first time and feeling cheated. The man told the court that he mistook her for a thief the morning after their wedding. Every woman wants to feel beautiful and um, we are not perfect um, in, 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 in any way, shape or form. So, I mean, if you're gonna use makeup to enhance what you already have. For me, um, I, I, I always say that people should not use makeup to hide who they are, rather than to just enhance what you already have. So, people should not be surprised um, when they see you because you look so different that they can't recognize you. So, um, makeup should enhance what you already have, not change you as a person. So, ladies are, more interested in their appearance. Um, people who are well-traveled um, also see out there that ladies want to look good, they feel good, they buy makeup, they use foundation to you know, perfect their skin. The number of professional makeup artists has risen not only in Kenya but globally. Karen Masharia of Faces by Kasha says that initially she never planned to become a makeup artist. There's a lot of opportunity um, in, in the market. I mean, um, um, the middle class, as you know, are, are you know, willing to spend more now. Um, there is also a lot of opportunities in terms of TV. There's new magazines coming up, um, TV shows, um, weddings, lots of people getting married now. So, I mean, the, the people doing family photo shoots, people having birthday parties, there's a lot of opportunity for, for makeup. As people continue to embrace technology, Children as young as 10 years old are now wearing makeup and some are even participating in beauty pageants. I started doing it from high school where everyone else was doing it and there I was doing it as well. It wasn't really peer pressure but it made me feel good, gave me confidence and I loved it. I also kind of used to hide it from my mom so that she doesn't really know that I'm wearing makeup. So I was a bit too like subtle so it doesn't show too much. Yeah. And as a mother of a one-year-old, Tunu Fajan says she will not introduce her daughter to makeup anytime soon. I think I'll be more strict on her. Mm -hmm. Probably when she's 18, she can start doing a little bit of makeup. But I wouldn't want her to start early. Parenting styles are for individuals. There are parents who will allow that. But um, for me, I say, like, let the kids be kids if they're very young. Um, I don't feel like they should be wearing makeup. But you see... Dip Parents are different. Yeah. There is a parent who might want their child to experiment with that because that's what they like. But yeah. for me, personally, if I had a child, I would not let a 10-year-old wear makeup, no. Um, I think, you know, from, you know, 16, 18 is a good time to start. But, um, and, you know, the thing is, also when you're very young, your skin is, um, how do I put this? Um, your skin is still, is still growing. I mean, it's still young. Yeah. You don't need to start putting too much on it at that point in time because you're still maturing. Your skin is still developing and, you know, and renewing itself. So there's no point of, of, um, of really putting makeup at that age. There are different makeup styles for different occasions. For professional look, one is advised to steer clear of bold, forceful colors and shimmery or distracting eye makeup. You're advised to wear light foundation powder, a light lipstick, a simple dusting of a light eyeshadow and a passive eyeliner. And for a relaxed weekend look, apply light face powder to even out your skin tone, light concealer to hide dark circles or blemishes, a light coating of medium brown hued eyeliner, mascara and a soft or nude lip color or a clear gloss. Just keep it simple. If it's day to day, you don't want to go overboard. You don't want to look exaggerated. Yeah. Just look simple. Make makeup beautiful. It's supposed to beautify you. It's supposed to make you look better and more confident. Yeah. Don't come to the streets th making people feel like you're about to perform or you're about to, you're a, be a ballet dancer or something. Mm -hmm. Well, a quick tutorial of what you need to know when using makeup yeah, so, for the um, first time. For starters, you need some uh, primer or um, moisturizer. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so this is it. Mm -hmm. So you start with that, you prepare your skin with that. Yes. Once it's absorbed, then you can take um, a foundation mm -hmm. and then you apply the foundation evenly all over your skin and make sure you use your tools, yes. brushes, mm -hmm. when you're applying so that you can have an even um, 
even finish mm -hmm. yeah? yeah and then if you have any blemishes on your skin you'll take your concealer um which you know will cover up any dark circles under your eyes yes. um any blemishes on your skin you'll use your concealer that's on top of the foundation yes mm -hmm. I, I, you, I that's how i do it i mean um i've seen different uh, schools of thought when it comes to concealer where some people put it under others on top but i prefer to put it on top of the foundation Great. because the foundation already has some coverage yes so um if you use the concealer after it means you're, you're going to use less product as mm -hmm. opposed to really trying to cover first and then putting the foundation on top so yep. you're always trying to use less product so that's mm -hmm. why i use um concealer on top. the concealer on top mm -hmm. yeah so after that um you you're gonna, you know, um, do your eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. So here are the eyeshadow colors. Um, you're gonna use an eyeshadow brush to apply it. Yes. And then you can use, you know, your eyeliners, your mascara, mm -hmm. and then you do your eyebrows. Fill in your eyebrows with very, um, you know, a very light stroke with yes. a pencil, with a brow pencil, mm -hmm. and then you brush it through with um, a spoolie brush, mm -hmm. so that you can e you can spread the the product evenly. Um, there's also like you know, apart from that, there's also these brow kits that are coming in the market, mm -hmm. which have you know, um, cal which have um, you know powders, and then it has like a wax that to set the to set the brow. Mm -hmm. The and wax it goes on top of the brow after you've made it. After yeah, mm -hmm. to kind of like help the hair lie in place. Mm -hmm. It some of them come with stencils, but I mean, I say don't use a stencil because. The, your eyebrow shape is different okay. and it structures your face different so it mm -hmm. doesn't sometimes it doesn't really work okay so once you've done your brows um you know uh you can now go to your to your lips mm -hmm. so you can choose you know any co any color that suits you any color that you like depending on the occasion depending on the time of day mm -hmm. you know lighter colors for during the day so that you don't look overdone yes and then you know according to the color that you've used you can use a blush yes. you know um that you know if it's a if it's a pink you use a more of a pink hue if it's a um, a red you use more of an orange peach hue something mm -hmm. that goes well together yes. and then um um then you can set your makeup with uh, with a powder when you once you're done um, especially the areas which produce the most oil which mm -hmm. is usually you know the t-zone area and uh you're good to go that's a lot of product on one's face yeah what, what effects <laughs> does that have on the skin when you put in your 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 moisturizer, mm -hmm. um, the the skin absorbs that um, because it's gonna you know nourish the skin and make it supple and help in re the renewal process. So um, w after that, once it's gone in, is when you put in your foundation. Actually, your foundation acts as a barrier mm -hmm. from elements yes. from the elements. You know um, whether it is a dust, whether it's bacteria, it actually protects your skin. That's mm -hmm. what people don't know. So it doesn't really clog your pores because some of the, the, the technology that is used in, pro in production of these products, especially the good products, not, not the counterfeit products, mm -hmm. um, totally against counterfeit products. Mm -hmm. But you use the good products, um, the you know, reputable brands, and you know they've invested a lot of money in research mm -hmm. and knowing what works for our skin. How often should one wash the brushes? Well, for me, it's different because uh, for me, it's after every job, mm -hmm. I have to clean my brushes. Mm -hmm. um, but on the job, if I'm working on different people, I use a brush cleanser mm -hmm. just to, you know, for hygienic, for hygienic purposes. So you spray it on the brush? You spray it on the brush and then you clean it out. For an individual who's not a makeup artist, yeah. how often should we? Um, I would say, you know, once a week, every two weeks mm -hmm. yeah because you know um every time you're applying um you know the foundation on your face there's a lot of bacteria a lot of you know um oil from your face okay. that will come onto your brush which will attract a lot of bacteria yes. so sometimes people actually break out because of using dirty dirty product uh, dirty brushes, brushes and stuff yeah. so you have to clean your brushes so that at least you know when you're applying it on your skin you're using it's a clean surface to a clean surface not a bacteria filled Mm. brush to a clean surface. Najma is smile for the old woman.